G'day guys, welcome to G-Man Speaks. We are back at the Slurry Research Institute and we have a video from Anna Bay called Horror Stories About Cheap Men. Okay, let's have a laugh at it. This is clearly going to be a rage bait for uh, men like us, but let's just have a laugh at it. My dear elegant ladies, welcome back to another video. Recently, I had a bit of an interesting thing going on in my Instagram stories. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, make sure you follow me. It's at School of Affluence. It all started with this meme that I found and I reposted it in my- School of Affluence. No, it's a score of being affluent by somebody, by getting into somebody else, getting your hooks into somebody else, not creating your own affluence. <laughs> story. The meme goes like this. One time a guy offered to call me an Uber home, but then he noticed there was a surge pricing, so he pretended his phone died, and I dated him for an entire year. Legend. But do, do women think, that, look at this girl's picture number one, you shouldn't be dating women who have photos like that on their Instagram. Absolute um, Brycey bait, those ones. Don't women understand, money doesn't grow on trees. So yeah, a uh, bit of a shit thing to do. He should have um, you know, stuck to his guns there. So I can understand that one from a manner's perspective. The surge pricing, you can you can get a taxi ride that'll cost you in the hundreds of dollars to get a chick home. Maybe he just said, um, stay over at my place. Get you home in the morning, whatever it may be. It's not the end of the world. How's, how's that a horror story? Maybe the guy didn't have a lot of money to spend all that money on an Uber. I thought it was such a good example because mm. this is everywhere. Women, you know, just being desperate, just going with all kinds of low-level men. Hey, but where's your low-level man if you're not giving them the princess treatment? Cool. And for me, it's really important to raise awareness of this because I have a <laughs> channel and a school based mm. on being a high-quality woman. And I based on being a gold-digging parasite. High quality woman has self-respect. Is there self-respect really by trying to extract as much as possible and doing it in such an open manner? Is that self-respect or is that over entitlement? High quality woman dates high quality men and high quality men, they don't treat women like this. So after I posted this, I started getting a lot of interesting stories sent to my inbox from fellow elegant ladies. And elegant. some of these stories were so horrible, I really had to repost them. And it did create a lot of engagement and horror in my Instagram. Now it starts with, my story is worst. I was engaged with a guy. We were living in Barcelona, so he organized a trip to Mexico. When we arrived at the airport, I understand he bought himself a business class ticket and for me, an economy. <laughs> and the guy told, baby, why are you so angry? I'm tired from work and I want to relax with a glass of wine. Of course, I did not get into that plane and I blocked him everywhere. Wow, there you go, boys. <laughs> so she gets a free plane ticket because it was in business class. She blocked him everywhere. Now, this didn't happen. This is probably some woman who thinks she's got a, head, a woman with a head in the clouds who'd like to make up a story. On today's episode of Things That Never Happened, we have this example. Classic. Mm, and she's like, yeah, that's really thought provoking. I thought this woman really led by a really good example. You treat me like- That's right, that's right. You don't buy me a business class ticket, we fuck you off. That's a great, let's lead by example there, fantastic. Like this, you get blocked by, even <laughs> if it is on the level of fiance, because this is a very good warning sign, what the man thinks of the woman, how he respects her, or more likely how he disrespects her, mm. and how he just is extremely selfish. And do you really want to marry a man? Okay, hang on, hang on. Let's just, I, I like to try and process the talking points. So he is the selfish one because he didn't buy her the business class flight. He bought her an economy flight that probably cost a few thousand dollars. And she blocked and deleted him, but he's selfish for buying her a flight. She didn't pay for it. I, I was trying to understand this logic here. How's that selfish? Isn't it selfish to want more than maybe is reasonable? Man who is selfish, who wouldn't upgrade you as well. I Where does the money come from? A little bit later, but it's absolutely Off not the tree? okay to the be money with tree. a man who treats himself better and then doesn't treat you as well. Now we have another good example. A guy. I was oh, she's making this shit up. This is this is this is this, is, this has got to be a psyop. Like, how is this real? Dating invited me to come to his vacation house in Dubai, and he told me I don't need to worry about money and stuff. He'll buy me a ticket. 
Oh, she's a Dubai porter potty. We know what all that is, guys. If you don't know what it is, I'm not going to say it here. Just Google it. This has got to tell you that there are a high, a high volume of women. I'm not going to say all. There are some really great women out there who don't care about materialism. But there are a great volume of women out there that are seduced by men that make them feel like they're going to get the princess and celebrity treatment from them. It's fantastic. It's a great case study. Instead of buying me a direct flight ticket, he bought me the cheapest available ticket and I had to travel for 15 hours because I was transferring and meanwhile he's flying around in his private jet. <laughs> okay, so hang on, he should have chartered a private jet to pick her up? <laughs> what? Oh, ladies, 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 it is so... Yeah, ladies, that's just the bare minimum. If you don't get a private jet sent to you at the airport, you know, get rid of that scumbag. <laughs> Not a gentleman to, no. first of all, to buy a woman an economy flight ticket. Ladies, I think it's very disrespectful. If the man is affluent and he has the money, then he has to buy a business class ticket or a first class ticket. You've got to be joking. You've got to be joking here. This is, this is why women should not be, or a lot of women are not good with money or don't have money of their own. Even if they have high paying jobs, I've known plenty of women who come across like they're top, top crust type women. Uh, they earn good money, 150, 200, 250K. They don't have two bucks to rub together because they cannot manage money. The way that a lot of women's uh, minds work when it comes to money is if you have X amount of money, then you that means that's for spending. It's not for putting away for a rainy day, for saving, doing anything else with. Well, if you've got $100, why don't you spend a hundred dollars? It's fantastic. It's great. That is non-negotiable. Of course, yeah. if we're talking about regular men with regular incomes, I understand the situation may be different. Oh, okay. But then the fact that he doesn't even buy her direct flight, that is unacceptable. She has to go through all this, you know, annoyance just so that he can save a few hundred dollars. It's ridiculous. A lot of men who have made money, now these women are all in fantasy land. I think her thing is just the biggest, okay things that never happened type thing. And she's made all her money off women buying her courses. And good on her. She's got a good grift. She knows how to market it. She knows how to really plug into the women's entitlement and female nature about trying to get the most uh, monetary, materialistic benefit out of men. It's great because she highlights it here for us. That do, a lot of women do think this way. There's 2 million subscribers. Okay. And as a guy, if you come across on the dating apps, you get these women who think they're really well put together. They're going to they're want you to pay for everything. Not worth it, in my opinion, for what you get. I could go on for days, guys. Ridiculous. And I hope none of you, my dear elegant ladies, allow a man to ever treat you like that. A man should be treating you like a treasure and really make you feel comfortable at all times, even if it has to cost him a little bit. What reality do you live in saying things like that? And I'm trying not to get worked up because it got pretty charged in the last one she's done. This is this is rage bait um, for all men because it's basically saying all men aren't shit. Even if, even if you have money, you're not shit unless you spend all the money on the woman to make her as comfortable as possible because that's the point I was going to make earlier and I got sidetracked was even men who have money, they didn't get that way by spending their money on women. <laughs> So it doesn't matter, regardless if he's got a hundred million dollars and he buys you an economy ticket, why should he pay 15, 20 grand or whatever it could be for a first class ticket when he can spend three? And the girl hasn't had to pay for it. So men who have money doesn't mean they like to spend all their money on women. These guys like these women like to go for suckers with money who aren't good with women, who don't understand women and essentially buy the attention and attraction of women, only to have women take all their money off them in the future some point. And not even that far in the future. They're marks. Oh, there's more stories with him. He was always calling me the cheapest version of Uber, Toyota Prius in London, while he is driving around with his chauffeur. <laughs> I think this also is another good sign of yeah. a man. Mm. How he's seeing you. Is he getting yeah. you the cheapest possible Uber or is he actually... I would even pay... For, I've never even paid for a girl's Uber. I've never even paid for a girl's taxi. I don't know what they're talking... If they're going to come and see me and take an Uber, that's up to you. I'm not paying for it. I've had him try it on me. Oh, I'll pay for my Uber and I'll come and visit you. No, no, if you want to come, we're both getting something out of it. You pay. It's ridiculous. But she's going to say something stupid here. Like a man doesn't really like you unless he's got a town car with a driver driving you around in it. <laughs> 
making sure that he leaves a positive impression on yeah. you, making sure you travel in comfort yeah. and really just orders you the best. You don't even have to be rich to be able to ride in the most expensive Uber. You don't have to have a lot of money for that. It's truly just act of manners. Hang on, no, that's absolutely false. Uh, Uber rides add up pretty quick. So I don't know what reality and what she likes to say is a lot of money. Okay, uh, what's a lot of money? I think it's different for everybody. Not having a lot of money. Uh, someone who makes 50,000, 100,000, uh, carting women around in Ubers is gonna put a big dent in your budget very quickly. It really says a lot about a person, about yeah. how stingy he is, about how he treats other women, and of course, how invested he probably is in you. I mean, I'm sure a lot of these men, they probably, you know, they maybe weren't that interested in these women, to tell you the truth, because... I love how she's just trying to work it out or, or try and come up with a coherent argument as to why she's being reasonable and why men should spend a lot of money because that calculates and um, quantifies interest. I've never gone and spent money on women. Doesn't mean I've never been interested in them. I'm just not an idiot. Hey, I'm a fucking tight ass. Hey, fine. I don't care. I've been called that. I don't care. Guess he's got money in the bank. <laughs> oh, you're a tight ass. Oh, hang on. Let me just let me just start swiping my card because you called me that. I love it. Shame me all you want. Biggest tight ass. Tight ass is um, represent in the house. Put your hand up in the comments if you're a tight ass for women. If they were, they would perhaps have truly wanted to leave mm. a better impression than treating these women like this. Yeah. However, there are also a lot of men who are just stingy by nature yep. and yep. nothing will ever change that. Yep. And a lot of the times ladies ask me, what do I do with a man who is stingy? How can I make him to change? Well, lady, that is like sprinting uphill in an uphill that will probably never end. So stingy to me, when a woman says a man's a tight ass, no, he's financially irresponsible, he's frugal, and he's thinking about the future. Women don't like responsibility and reasonableness. They want to live in the fantasy land. I'm not talking about all, but I'm talking about the ones definitely who she's talking about. Not all women carry on like this, and there'll probably be many women who will watch this video and think that is just outrageous. <laughs> All right, guys, about halfway through the clip. If you're enjoying my content, please sub. We're aiming for 10K subs in the short term and your support is greatly appreciated. The best way you can support me, guys, is just to watch the videos through as long as possible um, as that's what YouTube values and will push me out to more viewers. Like, comment, all that bullshit um, that all YouTubers say. And if you do want to pledge, check out Patreon. It does also help me out, but no pressure on that. It's just too exhausting. It's, um, it's very tricky and I personally do not really recommend. No, I don't recommend I it. don't think even the majority are able to change. I think- Yeah, just go for a complete um, simp pay pig guy who likes to be financially abused. Don't worry about going for any man with standards or wants to see something back in return. It's too much, too much work. <laughs> the best bet if you are with a man who is stingy by nature, really just move on. If generosity is important <laughs> oh, to you and ass. you feel like you can do better, I would move on. And I have personally moved on in the past. One of the mm. things I've always tested first in a man is how generous he is because it's so important for me. I want to be treated like a lady. I don't want to feel like money is an issue or he's downgrading me or he's really... In today's episode of Things That Never Happened, uh... <laughs> being uh, cheap with me mm. that makes our love feel cheap unfortunately money is a love language in the end of the day and it is important and especially for women we want don't get me started on love languages love language is the biggest scam you think of anything what does a man what does a man get out of any of the love languages they're all things that men should do for women apart from physical touch which is also a thing that believe it or not women value just as much as men if not more they're all about men doing things, acts of service, affirmation, time or quality time, whatever those bullshit things are. It's all written about, it's all written by women for women to brainwash men to being subservient. Oh, what's your love language? When people ask me that, oh, fuck, you lost me instantly. We want to feel protected and we want to feel secure. And this really amplifies that. Oh my gosh, somebody... <laughs> Somebody added, it is worse when he offers to get you an Uber and when you arrive at home, you realize he put the payment to cash and you don't even have cash. Oh, yeah. that's a Brycey effort. Good on him. So stitch up, put her in the cab and um, hey, make sure she was the one paying the bill when she got home. Oh, all these men are so stingy. I love this. And I've made so many videos on this and I'll, I'll say it every day if I have to. Women are the biggest 
cheapest cheapskates on earth. They will do whatever they can to extract the most out of a mammoth, providing at least back in return. Women are, uh, people go, no, women are cheap. They spend money. No, they spend it on themselves. They waste it on themselves. They don't spend it on other people. They'll do whatever they can to get out of spending money if it's to contribute on a date, etc. I'm not talking about all. I'm talking about quite a large number, a large majority of women, especially ones who watch this content. I've come across women who like to you know, try and offer first and halves on dates and bullshit like that. But really as well, that's also them making a small time investment to try and lock you in. It's a bait and switch tactic. And a lot of the time it doesn't last very long. They get frustrated with that going Dutch thing pretty quick because they don't feel special because they watch this bullshit and read books and money is supposed to make a woman feel special. Keep your money in your pocket. As an old bloke I used to work with many years ago, he said to me, he's dead now, uh, rest in peace. Good old Bobby. Good old Bobby. Um, we used to call him Bobby Dazzler. Good old Bobby said to me, gee man, you know where the best bet with women is? In your pocket. And always took that on. Don't waste your money on women, guys, because as she said, the moment they don't get what they want, you're gone. You're done. You, you, you cannot buy these types, and you can't do it for a little bit and then pull back. They're going to want more and more. Uh, they're black holes. Right? They're the abyss when it comes to finances. So you're best to not try. There is an option in Uber, maybe not in all countries, where you can pay either by card or by cash, and this is Oh, how stingy behavior. Why is this about Ubers? They're, they're giving themselves away. They're Ubers because they're getting rides home from when they got pumped and dumped. <laughs> it's all Uber. It's all about Uber. Getting traveling around. Getting shuttled around. Pay your 50 pounds or dollars or whatever it, whatever it is, you tight ass. Instead of coming and riding into this chick. Look how gleeful they are. Oh, how rude of a man to do such a thing. This is such a low level of man we're talking about. I don't really know even what to say. I'm, I'm truly speechless. Probably these men have not been educated. Another lady said... We need to go to the uh, indoctrination course. I was on a trip to visit Australia with a man I was dating who lived there. He Ooh, booked us a helicopter trip to a sandbank for a picnic. Then had a massive tantrum when the pilot said I should sit in front to get the best view. He was livid as he paid for it. I was mortified, ignored him for the entire picnic <laughs> and hang out with a hunky pilot and booked a flight out ASAP after we got back. In another episode of things that never happened. <laughs> what books? Where do they come up with this bullshit? They're sitting there like, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to make up some story and sound high end. Guys, if you're booking helicopter charters to, charter to take women out on picnics, you've fucking got everything backwards. You need you need to be watching my channel. Stop, stop you guys at home buying helicopter flights, all right? to get Try and get some action in the back of the helicopter. Let's get a VN, boys. Behind the cricket club. That's all you need. Women love it. An experience for sure. Now, this is a really good example of a gentleman behavior. So a man mm. should be offering the best seat to a woman. Yeah. It is common courtesy from a man. If a man doesn't do it, he has bad manners. He has no etiquette skills whatsoever. Do you want to be with that type of man? I mean, think about it. We are here upgrading ourselves, polishing ourselves to become sophisticated elite ladies so that we can attract a high quality man. Even though this man affords to fly her around in a helicopter in Australia, this man lacks class and etiquette. Oh, he flew on a helicopter to a remote sandbank in the middle of the ocean somewhere for a picnic. But he has no class and etiquette. He's just a scumbag because in his story, which never happened, he wanted to look out the window. <laughs> uh, this is like um, fantasy porn for these chicks. What I personally think is that sometimes you don't even have to have a lot of money to be able to be a good man. Sometimes it's enough to just being extremely gentleman and look oh, after his yeah. woman and treat his woman like a princess. And regardless of the amount of funds that he has, spend as much as he affords on a woman. <laughs> it's that, all about money, boys. Ladies, is a good man. Regard this is a good man. He spends money on you guys. Get it into your heads. A lot of guys are in denial about it. No, I don't pay for sex. I don't pay. You're paying the whole time, whether it's up front or in the end. And guys who have been through the divorce process or de facto separation process, you tell me in the comments if all you were in the end, all you were when it was all said and done, was a pot of gold for them to plunder. I'll be waiting for anyone to say it wasn't.
regardless of the dollar signs. If I have any men watching me right now, please do take notes because you always want to take notes for men videos from me. Well, here you go. By the way, ladies, before I continue, you know that I do have a free cheat sheet where you can meet affluent men, <laughs> high quality men. I have gathered 210 places. This is like this is like the female version. You know, guys get all, if you take my five tips, you can bang 10 out of 10 models every night of the week in just two weeks, just buy my course. This is like the female version of that. In a free cheat sheet. So visit millionaireplaces.com and download <laughs> this free cheat sheet. You're the mark, boys. You are the mark, whether you want to believe it or not. That was one of the biggest red pills I ever got, you guys. You are a mark. Well, you won't meet any of these types there. This one is just horrendous. But <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Here we go. Lay it on us, <laughs> My now boyfriend and I went to McDonald's and he asked me what I'd like to eat. I wanted three chicken burgers. They're small. They're not small. You're a big fatty. And one would cost like one euro 30 cents. And he got angry because that's expensive. But he bought himself six hamburgers and extra sauce, LOL. Well, I mean, okay, McDonald's. <laughs> Why would she include this? Obviously, she wasn't getting much content. And this is the kind of girl who's watching her content thinking she's a high, high class woman going to Macca's and complaining over not getting six pounds or whatever it was spent on a six euros spent on her over at McDonald's. <laughs> what? She's just scuttled her own video by putting that stupid example in there. At least make something up a little bit more plausible. But it goes to show you who her audience is. Little girls living in Princess Fantasy Island. And uh, good on her. Hey, it's a griffin. She is probably making mega bucks off YouTube. But it's poison. Donuts is perhaps not a very elegant place to begin with. Perhaps. But if you Cities. see again a man who rather spend on himself, rather treat himself, than be nice to his woman... What mm. type of level of man do you think this is? Do you Scumbag. think this is somebody worth investing in? Could you see a future with him? Could you rely on him in the future? Of course not, because this is a stingy cheapskate who will only be thinking about himself and you will always end up suffering as a result. And when we do this transformation as women because we want to have better quality men, we do it so that we don't have these headaches in the future so we can live a good <laughs> life. It's a basic human instinct to want to have a good <laughs> life. But if you are being treated... Okay, come on. Let's get a piece of paper and I want you to write down from top to bottom what the man gets out of this interaction. Anything tangible, please, please put it down. It's going to be nothing. I don't think you're going to be, like, oh, I'll give him support. I'll encourage him. He'll get uh, my pleasure of my company or whatever they write down. Come on, put something. What am I getting? If I'm a guy like this, what am I getting out of buying you? Apart from buying a petulant grown-up kid with tits. Like, that's it. Who won't put out eventually. What am I getting? Please. Help me out. Eat it like this. I mean, who's going to be happy? I don't think this is asking for much as women. I think this should be a basic principle, ladies. So this one is very interesting. When I was Hello. living in London, I met somebody and he invited me for dinner. It was raining outside and I sent him my address and asked to send me his driver, or worst case, Toyota Uber after <laughs> Number one, a lady should never compromise. It should never be a Toyota Uber, <laughs> which is the cheapest version of an Uber. It should always be the more expensive one or preferably his driver. He told me to take a tube or a bus. Imagine me, rain, blow dry, heels and tube. Okay, I was living in central London, a few steps away from restaurant, but I didn't care. For me, it was disrespectful. It doesn't matter how much money you have or you don't have. It is basic rule. Take care of lady who you invited for... Look how angry she looks. ...for dinner. Yeah, it's a basic rule, boy. It's a basic rule. What world? It's only a basic rule you've made for yourself. It's like a guy should say, it's a basic rule. You should suck me off within the first date. That's a basic rule. And you boys are settled for no less. Just make my own course on that. If you're not in the back of the VN on the first date, we don't settle for that, boys. We're high-class men. We don't want no, no nun slurries. We want full-blown slurries. <laughs> what is this rubbish? Perfectly well said. And I really yeah. want you ladies to take that away with you today because... This is a matter of respect. You invite a woman for dinner and then you don't care how she gets there or how she gets home. Especially if it's raining, especially if she's wearing heels. Oh no, he cared. He said, get the tube or the bus. 
and she made herself look really nice for you so that you can be admiring her all evening and then you <laughs> don't care about her like she's some little it doesn't matter she's a little trash or something no ladies it's unacceptable this is why a man has to always send a car for oh. you always and hey guys in the comments how many times have you sent a driver with your town car out to pick up a girl for a date unless we put our foot down yeah. and really say that this is my address when is the driver coming where are you sending me an uber or is your driver coming oh she's make this is this is a psyop i reckon she must stop stop the camera and start laughing about how stupid all her viewers are and who buy her course of affluence pick me up that is a standard line standard. all my elegant ladies should be saying to all the men <laughs> elegant they're dating. so the last one is actually quite interesting as well because she says, I once met an American guy in Monaco and we went to a bar in the hills, former Vista Palace Hotel, and took a drink each person. When the waiter brought the bill, he looked at me and asked, do you mind getting this? I was too shocked to say no. And best part was I had to drive him home as he didn't have a car. On Instagram, he's presenting himself as a very affluent guy selling million, billion worth mansions in Miami. Yeah, cool, man. How many billion dollar mansions are there in Miami? Sucked in. He sucked you right in. He did a full-blown Steve. It was a monster hunting um, tenant. A monster hunting. Lie, lie, lie to get what you want from these gold digging chicks. I don't endorse lying to... You know, yeah, women who are respectable and, and worth a, a great treatment, but these ones that are sniffing you out and you know that they're trying to mark you, lie, lie, lie. Get what you got to do Tinder swindler on them like this guy. Classic. Love it. All right, guys, that's enough from me today. I could go on. We didn't even get all the way through this video. Thank you very much. See you in the next upload.